boys and girls, Miss Layman here to discuss writing. We are doing our second step up to writing of distance learning. I cannot tell you how impressed I was with your last writing. And I know this week will go equally well because this is our second time. So it's going to be even better. I told you this morning in my announcement that you would need to listen to both science videos to help with your writing. Also, all that information Doug from Mystery Science gave us will help too, because our topic today is camouflage. So you can see that Miss Lehman wrote a paragraph here. I want to go over the parts of this paragraph one more time. The green. It is our introduction and our conclusion. The yellow are reason detail facts. They must, must, must relate to what our subject is, which is our introduction. Then your reds are examples, evidence um, of your reason detail fact. Then I have another reason detail fact, and then I have examples and evidence of that as well, along with my conclusion. Let's read what I wrote and see if it makes sense. Animals use camouflage to stay safe. First, animals use camouflage to blend in and match their environment. By matching their environment, they are not easily seen by prey and can easily catch their meal. Second, animals sometimes take on a shape as something else to camouflage themselves. By taking on a similar shape, such as the shape of a rock, a predator can't easily see them. Animals are smart and use camouflage to stay safe. Now, if I was doing this, since it's a two-day project, I would write it out and then I would do exactly what I'm doing right now. I would read it. And as I was reading that, boys and girls, I found some things that I would probably edit. Because in one paragraph, I used the word easily one, two, three times. That's pretty repetitive for that word. So I might be able to go out and change that with something else. So let's see. By matching their environment, they are not easily seen by prey and can, can catch their meal. I, didn't, I don't even know that I have to have easily catch their meal there. Let's look at the bottom. By taking on a similar shape, such as the shape of a rock, a predator can't see them. <coughs> I could take it out there if I wanted to. So the idea of editing is going back and seeing what can I, excuse me, <coughs> get rid of or change or make better. Did I start every sentence with a capital? Let me look. Capital, capital, capital. Capital, 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 yes. Ah, <coughs> bad timing for a tickle in my throat. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, so can you see how that is done? My conclusion related to my introduction. It is not exactly the same, although it is very similar because it's going to remind the reader what I said. So you will have a green introduction, a yellow reason detail fact, a red explanation, example, or evidence, another yellow reason detail fact, another red evidence, <coughs> explanation or example and then you have your conclusion which is very similar to the introduction i'm going to leave this example just how it is so you can see it but know that i would most likely go in and find a different word to use or completely take it out. You shouldn't use the same word over and over and over again. The English language has so many different words. We don't need to use um, the same word. I could say by matching their environment, they are not easily seen by prey and can easily catch their meal. I could say by matching their environment, they are not clearly seen by prey. I could change that to clearly if I wanted to. 
So do you see how that would still work by matching their environment? They are not clearly seen by prey and can easily catch their meal. That way I'm not using the same word over and over and over, if that makes sense. So this is a two, two, two day project, just like before, it's not due until Friday, but I want you really, really concentrating on having one, two, three, four, five, six sentences, and two of them, introduction, conclusion, introduction, conclusion, reason, detail, fact, supporting evidence to that, reason, detail, fact, supporting evidence, and your conclusion. So let's see how it goes. Again, this is an attempt you're just doing your very, very, very best. And last time your very best was very good. So I'm looking forward to these. You have a great time doing this. You've got two days. It's a no stress situation and I know you can do it. Have a great afternoon. If you need my help, please have your parents reach out to me.